All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to x over 9. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x over 9 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and now I have x minus x over 9 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 9. So now I have x minus x over 9 times 9 is equal to 0 times 9. Well, everyone knows that 0 times any number is simply equal to itself. So 0 times 9, that's simply equal to 0. And now the reason I multiplied 9 on both sides is to get rid of this denominator, this 9 in the denominator. So now when I multiply 9 with x minus x over 9, the 9 distributes. 9 times x is 9x. And 9 times negative x over 9, these two 9s simply cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with negative x. Now I have 9x minus x is equal to 0. 9x minus x is 8x, so I have 8x is equal to 0. And this is simple. All I have to do is divide both sides by 8. These two cancel out. And now I have x is equal to 0 divided by 8, which is 0. Now I also have a second method to solving this problem. And this is actually an easier method. So my initial problem was x is equal to x over 9. And this time, instead of subtracting x over 9 on both sides, I can simply just start by multiplying 9 on both sides. So then these two automatically cancel out, and 9 times x is 9x. So I have 9x is equal to x. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract x on both sides. And I have 9x minus x, which is 8x, is equal to 0. Now, if I divide both sides by 8, I have x is equal to 0 divided by 8, which is 0. So that is a second method of solving this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So the first thing is I'm going to rewrite 9 here as 3 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 81. I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3 over 3 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to first go ahead and start by checking the solution. So let's first start with x equals 1, because I want to find, I need to find at least one valid solution to this before I can find all the other solutions. So I'm going to first start with x equals 1. If I plug in 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, so that wouldn't work. x equals 2. I get 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 minus 2 times 2 is 4, so I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So x minus 2 is a valid solution. So now, now that I know that x, mi x uh, equals 2 is a solution, this means that x minus 2 is going to be a factor of this. So now I have x minus 2 times something is equal to 0. And this means that if I divide this by x minus 2, I should get what the value of this. So, I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And you can either solve this in two ways. You can use long division or synthetic 
the synthetic division method. Um, and your result should be that add these two, you should get x squared plus 2x plus 2. So now I have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, you're going to want to use the quadratic formula to solve this. And you should get that x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 1 to the power of x squared over 8 to the power of x is equal to 61. So the first thing I'm going to do is it's pretty obvious that 1 to the power of any number is simply 1, meaning whatever the value of x is, 1 to the power of x squared is going to equal 1. So I can just write this as 1 over 8 to the power of x is equal to 61, because 1 to the power of x squared, that's the same thing as 1. So now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to the power of x. So then, these two cancel out, and I have 1 is equal to 61 times 8 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 61. These two cancel out, and now I'm going to have 1 over 61 is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log 8 to the power of x. And 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of, or sorry, log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. And 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, it's the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3x. And now I can go ahead and move this 3x to the front, so now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to 3x times log 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 times log 2. So now I'm going to be left with log 1 over 61 over 3 times log 2 is equal to x because x is the only thing that's remaining here. Now, log 1 over 61, this is the same thing as log 1 minus log 61. Now I have this over 3 times log 2, which is equal to x. And now log 1 this is equal to 0. Log 61, this is equal to 1.7853. And 3 times log 2, this is equal to 0 0.9031. So now I have 0 minus 1.7853 over 0 And this is equal to negative 1.9769. So x is equal to negative 1.9769.